Shalom, you guys. Shalom, y'all. I wanted to show you something on, on my uh, squash plant. Apparently, this is a hybrid of some sort. I mean, it was when it was grew the first time because on it, like now, let me show you. I have these, the light green squash. The light green. See, here's another one. But also on here, there is this yellow cook net. Can you guys see? Oh shoot, wait a minute. There it is. See? So I'm thinking the original bush to these seeds was a hybrid. Now I don't know if those seeds came from anything you bought that was thrown into the uh, compost pile because there used to be a compost pile right there or if it was from the people who who do sell fruit i used to get a lot of the, uh, uh, their leftovers you know and threw it in the compost pile but anyway i thought it was rather strange so i got two different kind of uh squashes on this one bush because it's only one plant. Yeah, and you can still see the yellow one right there. Yeah. Now, I don't know if these are the same, but we shall see. Because I think those who watch, if you remember, the squash I took off was a light green. But those are real light, light green. So, I'm just curious to see once they grow to full size. Okay. Oh yeah, Shalom. just wanted to share also that I have my bed, I call my Trisha bed, and I planted uh, the cauliflower in here because it really needed to go in, and I know my broccoli needs to be planted right away too, but I have those in, so probably in the next couple of days, I'll get this bed done, and then I can get my broccoli in. And this bed right here, I'm going to put the tomatoes in because then they're next. And let's see here, take around. And the one down there, I think I'm going to put, I'm going to move that to this spot. And I'm going to put watermelon. Wait. No, these two, I'm going to put watermelon in one, and then I'm going to put cantaloupe in the other. Those two right here, the last two right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the tomatoes there. Then uh, cucumber, no, I got cucumbers in the squash here. And I'm going to do all the winter squashes, I've decided over here i'm gonna go ahead and put the squashes here because i don't think uh like i said that the gophers will mess with them too much i just gotta go get uh, a bag of kellogg soil amendment to throw down there so it'll help condition the soil so that way i can get that done so in the next couple of days i hope to have just about everything that can be planted planted because I'm running out of time, you know, I got to get them out of those little cup planters that I have, man. So, yeah, the corn, uh, again, is doing well. So, yeah, I got to hurry up and get everything planted. Even though I'm going to put the uh, squash over here, I, st I think I'm going to plant the lima beans over here, too. Can you plant lima beans with squash? Does anybody know? Let me know. Comment below. Let me know if it's okay to plant squash. Oh, wait a minute. I can put something on this side. Because last year I planted the lettuce over on this side. So I'll clean it up and I think I'm going to put the lettuce back going. No. Yeah, around. Going around like this. Because <coughs> this is a very well shaded area. 
you don't have to worry about it bolting right away so I'm gonna put it in this around this area okay so looking forward to getting everything in these beds I'm really late this year really really late so anyway just wanted to share that with you Shalom Duh, you know what y'all, I just asked about beans and squash, I forgot I did a three sisters garden type thing last year, so I know you could plant beans and squash, I don't know what I was thinking, I guess I really wasn't, huh, oh well, shalom, okay y'all, Tell you what I did. I went on and took my butternut squash that I had planted and I had some spaghetti squash and I went on and put it over here with the corn. And what I also did was the clump of corn that I had over here, I took it out and I planted it. But one reason why I did that is I wanted to see if it was ready to be moved because it's like nine more of these little plants that uh, I'm going to give to my grandson, so I have to see if these make it. If not, I would just wait a couple more weeks and uh, take those up. They should be of some good size. Take those up and uh, give them to them. So, uh, yeah, I got that. And also what I did was... Because my, I had some bush beans right here that was looking kind of crazy. So I went on and put them over here by the corn too. Hopefully the gophers don't come over this far and mess with anything. So far they haven't, but you know. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be positive and say that they're not going to come over here. So yeah. And I do have some um, purple beans that I have to hurry up and get planted too. Uh, I don't know. I didn't put the squash over here like I said I was. But I do have a couple more uh, spaghetti squashes that I might end up putting over here. So, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, just wanted to share that little bit with you. Shalom.